let's wrap up the week as always with one to watch. Matt, what is your one to watch for the coming week? Well, last week I suggested a financials index fund. Um, this week I'm going to narrow it down. I'm going to say Goldman Sachs, which is one of my favorites. Listeners know that. You know, I've mentioned, <laughs> I've mentioned before. This is ticker symbol GS, by the way. I've mentioned before that Goldman has a lot of room to run with their consumer banking business. They're still one of the, you know, arguably the number one brand name on Wall Street. I mean, when you hear Wall Street, it's pretty much synonymous with Goldman Sachs yeah. for a lot of people. Um, and now that they're in this kind of legal problem with uh, Malaysia, Malaysia's trying to get back, uh, I think, $600 million in fees that it paid in a bond fund that went bad. Um, now that they're wrapped up in this, the stock's kind of taken another leg down and is actually trading for less than its book value Ooh. for the first time in over two years. So I think Goldman looks really, really interesting at this point. Yeah, that is. And what's the ticker for Goldman? GS. GS. Okay. Uh, well, Folks who follow me on Twitter may know that uh, on November 20th, I bought um, Ameris Bancor um, along with another stock, Etsy. But I'm going to go ahead and shine the light on Ameris Bancor this week uh, because I did add shares of Ameris to my portfolio. Most folks, uh, you've probably heard it on this show before. Ameris is just a small cap bank down there in Southwest Georgia, um, about a two billion dollar market cap, but it really has grown by leaps and bounds over the last several years. Uh, the FDIC found it to be a very good partner in rolling up some of those failed institutions from the financial crisis. Um, and Ameris has always been able to maintain healthy capital ratios, which is really encouraging. Uh, the stock is, I, I think, a little. I think it's a little bit on sale this this uh, around this time of year here, around twenty times earnings today. Um, in its most recent quarter, they had, uh, announced they grew to, uh, total assets to to close to eleven and a half billion dollars uh, versus approximately seven and a half uh, at the end of two thousand and seventeen. So, uh, you know, with a bank like this growing that asset base, growing that deposit base, really helps them generate the. Return on assets that we value a lot of these banks by, um, and and then you know they have a nice diverse lending book, which really uh, I think is a testament to just smart leadership or good stewards with the capital and and uh, you know look after shareholders. So I think this is an attractive long term idea, uh, one that I uh, you know look forward to holding for for many years to come, and I think uh, listeners would benefit from probably looking into it there. So we got a big mega bank. And we got a little tiny bank. And I think, you know, those are a couple of good ideas for listeners out there. 